I think Drew's story is a tragedy. And I think there's been far too many stories like that in our business. You're nominated alongside DJ Khaled and the late great Nipsey Hussle for Best Collaboration and Video of the Year for Hire. We know Nipsey's entire MO was to uplift our communities and there's definitely been an emphasis right now being placed on uplifting communities. You've been really hands-on with supporting social justice movements throughout the years and you do so in a way that doesn't take away from the issues at hand. Um, so what do you think are some of the ways celebrities can best use their platforms without taking away from the messages of those on the front lines of these movements? Well, I think, first of all, we have to be humble about what we know and what we don't know, what we can do and what we can't do. And we have to listen. I try my best to read um, experts uh, in the areas that I talk about. I try my best to listen to organizers and activists who spend every day thinking about these issues. And um, I try not to talk about anything unless I've read about it from people I trust and respect and also listen to organizers who are, are, are active on the streets and making sure change we need to see happen happens. And so um, I think if every artist that wants to get involved and wants to have their voice heard um, is humble enough to listen to other people, learn from them and try to amplify their voices as much as possible rather than making it about yourself, I think um, I think you can be helpful in these conversations. I absolutely agree. And there's also been some big conversations in music this week, especially in hip hop, regarding the industry's social and moral responsibilities. I know there's a doc out right now regarding some of the allegations surrounding Russell Simmons. Mm -hmm. um, you've been very vocal about supporting sexual assault survivors. So what would you say the music industry's responsibility is in ending a sexual assault? Well, we have to make every environment uh, safe for women to be, uh, to flourish, to do their jobs, to do what they um, love to do. And I'm, you know, I've, I've been close friends with Drew Dixon uh, Williams, who was part of that uh, documentary. And mm -hmm. I was actually unaware at the time what she was going through, but um, it turned out when she was trying to get me signed, she was trying to get Kanye signed. Mm -hmm. um, her career was undermined by the fact that there were powerful men who wanted to sleep with her and made that a part of the kind of conditions of her getting what she wanted professionally. And that's just not the way any person should have to deal uh, with their career. Their career should not be uh, stifled or undermined because of uh, someone's sexual desires and, 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 and it's just not fair not fair to her, it's not fair to any, uh, whether it's a songwriter or a, an executive, their career should be determined by their skill, their ability, um, and, and not um, uh, being treated like a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that's across industries too, because yeah. we see it all over the place. So I'm really Yeah, and it's that. just <laughs> tragic, and it's just tragic when you lose the creativity and the fire of someone because um, they've been undermined um, for the wrong reasons. And um, I think Drew's story is a tragedy. And I think there's been far too many stories like that in our business. Mm -hmm. So let's switch gears a little bit. Bigger Love just dropped Loved It. You said that the album's a celebration of life, love, Black resilience. So what have been some of your favorite songs exemplifying Black joy throughout music history in the broadest sense of what Black oh, joy wow. means to you? Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> that's a tough question, but one of the songs that just makes me joyful every time I hear it and immediately uh, feels like it just puts me in a better mood is uh, Got to Give It Up by Marvin Gaye. Yes. Uh, whenever it comes on, it just instantly <laughs> like affects my mood. It makes me feel just like joyful, uh, feel like dancing, doing my same old two step. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it, it just brings me joy. So I, I definitely will go with uh, Got to Give It Up by Marvin Gaye. I personally loved your two-step on the verses. <laughs> I think it, it, it just- It's me, you know? It was you, it was so you. <laughs> and you, I love that whole verses. I think you two brought so much of what we needed at the yes. time. And 
gosh, I forgot how broad your catalogs were and how much of a hand that you had in so many different songs. Well, that's what makes Versus fun. You get to really educate people about all the things you've done. And, and Alicia and I are both mostly known for what we have done as lead artists on our own records, but um, I thought it would be fun to show all the collabs I've done too. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a lot of fun for me. I appreciated it. We all appreciated it. And I'm appreciative that you gave me the time today to chat with you. Of course. Great to talk to you again. Yes, of course. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Thank you.